We are ranking every single icon in FC24. Beautiful people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. As per usual, we have broken rank one foot champs debatable in the pine. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I don't think we missed an icon. We got multiple variations, options on deck. Let's get to it. French in the middies, we like that. I still think she gets foot champs. Baggio, it's not new in these parts. The Italian, Brazilian, if you will. I need EA to give him a proper upgrade. Michael Ballack, I'm saying it, he's overrated. Can't get down with the get down. None of his variations, versions, or at any point this year has he put on for the culture. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I've used them and I've been disappointed. Baresi, pined up. Barnes has done things for mediocre Cloud FC. It's a bit of a club legend or an icon, but he's still going in the debate. David Beckham, I have never seen used this year. And he was an expensive SBC early on. Where is the practical application? Can't play him out wide. Really can't play him centrally. But he has put together quite the collective at Inter Miami. Bird Camp. I don't think you're going to love this item. I don't like putting him this low. And Bird Camp should never be in the pine. But we've added new icons, new iterations, improvements, upgrades. I've got to take that into consideration. Speaking of. Georgie Best. He, he should be broken. Truly. Georgie Best with the double play style, the bowl cut coming in fresh to death is going into broken. And I might add a special category at the end of this video. Early spoiler, we could be adding an additional tier when we get to that review section. Just throwing it out there. Blanc, still good enough for the weekend. I think we have to take into consideration his contribution to success in FC24. One of the most used center backs period bobby i'm not ready to get him out of foot champs nor does he deserve to not be in that type of conversation not quite teasing the rank one not at this point butcher bueno fan favorite right here big time supporter rank one don't sleep on him this spaniard is a phenom brilliant cafu everyone has him and for good reason you could argue he's the best in the position i would rather have george best this is my proposition he's a must-have a, a need beyond relevant or prevalent he is mandatory so campbell i don't like him i am an open hater most of you will have him foot champs i'm done even giving him the debate i don't like soul campbell and this can be awkward if i ever a chance to meet him i see a lot of englishmen on podcasts respectfully he was good to go on the actual pitch i just don't trust him on the virtual pitch cannavaro it hurts my heart not even weak in league, good. That's the reality, that's how I feel. I thought he was getting an upgrade. EA, we need an upgrade. I saw something with my eyes. Potential early addition, upgrade him. Cantona, for me, he's still such a threat. Danger, aggressive, rough around the edges. Roberto Carlos, brand spanking new. He's got himself back in the game. If I put Roberto Carlos to broken, Cafu has to also be broken for the brazilian duo i'm just internalizing i'm giving my thoughts carlos alberto he's starting to drag still good for the weekend casillas i actually feel after this patch he just got better been going up against him a ton more active than ever before making a lot of key saves petter check for the weekend i prefer petter check goalkeepers are strange because it's subjective because of my preference for check i'll go ahead and give him rank one but take anything with goalkeepers with a grain of salt. Someone I love, you might hate, and vice versa. Ashley Cole for the weekend is cool. Crespo, not quite. Happy to have an upgrade. I like these little purple background paint strips. Some of the design work has been top tier. Johan Cruyff to the top. Has to be. Welcome to the broken tier. King Kenny, I'm getting close to being a hater. Maybe it's because I'm not a Liverpool guy, but Dog Leash could see himself in the debate relatively soon serious competition if you're new to these parts make sure to subscribe yes sir del piero you know what i'm gonna say that man assisted me once in my life and i knew what to do with it i understood the assignment roll that clip Great. Desai, he's on his way down. He's a fantastic defender. Brute force just, ugh. But the facilitation isn't there. The turning, not really there. Didier Drog, but this item always gives me problems. I've got a personal vendetta. I'm at risk. I'm all, I'm exposed. Players whipping in cross. He's taking him down. He's shimmying and shaking. And he's body checking me. I just don't get the same resolve when I use him. New Essien is authentic. Tempted to have him in a rank one. We're talking about rank one. I'm sliding him in at the moment. Samuel Eto'o, I don't know if he's even weak in league there. Yeah, he's gotta be. 
Still in foot champs, hanging on, not giving you the facilitation, but a 1v1, a through ball, no doubt. Eusebio, I still strongly dislike this man. Tempted to put him into broken. We made a video about icons, controversial video. I see him too much. I go up against him too much, and he's always authentically expressing himself. I hate going up against him. I'm telling you, it's going to be an extra category. I believe Eusebio has a little extra juice, a little extra juice than some of the other rank one competitors. Broken for Ferdinand one of, if not the best center backs in the game. I don't think he'd go against Virgil van Dijk, but he'd make for a nice pairing. Now, the question is, where does the 88 overall Rio Ferdinand find himself? I'd still give him the weekend. Garincha to the weekend, but he's nowhere near the same type of player that he once was. Gattuso, don't do it to yourself. It's a mistake. Stevie G, I believe he has now revitalized himself to foot champs, but you're not going to be mesmerized on record. Rude Hullet to the top. He just doesn't miss. He has that Virgil van Dyke. Put your leg out. Miss time. Doesn't matter. Manual controlled. AI controlled. Doesn't matter. Interceptions. Body. Composition. 50-50s. Shoulder to shoulder. Size. Large. In charge. He's a legitimate problem. I do my best to avoid him at all costs. Haji, I like, but I, he's got to be on a downturn with this group. I'm still going to get him in the debate as he should be there. Mia Ham, It's not even close. She is destroying defenses disgracefully and i stay going up against her if you can't afford the 95 the 93 is much better price but i still feel both should be in broken i've never had positive experiences going up against mia ham she crushes my dreams i've got nightmares they're always bad memories and it happens every single time that i face this monster mia ham will snipe you like no other and her power shots unbelievable Henri. Is he above rank one is the question. Maybe. I think he's right there on the cusp. This is easily his best version in the past few years. EA got it right with the upgrade. He feels fast. I'm going to go ahead and give him the, the early notch. Again, I think he covers grounds for what we're seeing in rank one. Hernandez, way too one-dimensional. Am I being disrespectful to put him into the pine? He does have the pace, but I'm shoving him around. I dictate what's happening on the virtual pitch. Hierro, I see people trying to use him, but I'm smoking that man. He's not holding down the back line. Jarzinho. Still to foot champs, I just would prefer some of the other wingers or attacking players this year, as good as he is. Kaka, love this man. Unfortunately, maybe a slight downturn. He got that upgrade. We started seeing him in rotations, the options and the depth and the substance. There's a lot of it. But shout out to Kaka. We appreciate you. We are major supporters on this channel. Keen is going to be a no-go. I don't care about the version. This Miroslav might surprise you. I still prefer the 88 Trezeguet, which might be a little bit of a spoiler. He's going to be upcoming at some point. But if you didn't give Kloza an opportunity, this is the best he's ever been in any installment. The position switch, highly important. Game changing and game shifting. But there's a lot of midfielders that are better. A lot. Clivert. Ah, another item that should be better. I'll put him into the debate, but he should be better than what he is. And I'm staying true to that. I'll throw Coleman next to him, the defender or the center back that has oh so many goals. I didn't do a Google search. I don't have the tally on hand. That new Lom to the weekend. Not get him in rank one. He's not at the same level as Cafu or Roberto Carlos. There's still a separation, but as an open Lom hater, at least video game wise, he's got himself to foot champs. Now, Philip Lom, the 89, is still eating up that pine all day he can mow the grass in the front yard in the backyard but he is not touching the actual pitch he can prepare the pitch for the players that are gonna play larson swede you're never seeing him in action for a reason i'm gonna go ahead and take loudrup and put him into foot champs this might be the most improved icon of all time really enjoyed using him now as a right back or a wing back his previous item where i'm tossing to the pine has probably been one of the least used icons since being introduced to the title years back. If you packed them, you felt unlucky, but the right back Loudrup, this, this individual is decent, solid. Lineker, I don't like him. It's not personal, I just, they don't strike fear. Luis Figo should be better than what he is. I don't make the rules, I'm just reporting to duty. Makaleli, I didn't realize he was an 88. Thought he was an 87. This is the upgrade. He will hold down a midfield. He's almost a better version of Conte. Similar-esque type of players. Maldini. For me, 
He's got to join the likes of Rio Ferdinand. Sadly, I've been going up against both of these individuals. It's not going well. I'm happy that Maldini got the upgrade. He's got purple. I got purple. The OG, the 92 overall Maldini. I, I still think he has to be in rank one. There's something Maldini has, even without the play styles and every stat line that jumps off the screen. Still has a certain energy, an aura, a competitive edge. My opinion, of course. Oof, Lothar in the 93. Wow. Does he join this group? It's a big upgrade. We take the 93 into Broken, and then we're going to take the 90 for Lothar, and I'm going to slide him into rank one. He's one of the OG icons that has fulfilled and has longevity. The Madhouse is doing Madhouse things. I also had the opportunity to meet Lothar last year, and we filmed some videos together. So shout out to Lothar. I appreciate the Bundesliga for setting that up. Muller! I'm going foot champs. Got crazy hair. We support that. I don't know if he's in this next level of rank one. I would still rather have a Cantona, even a Butragueno, a Jarzinho. They give me a little more competitive advantage. That's how I feel. Bobby Moore. It's not happening. Not doing it. I'm not pushing that agenda today. If anything, EA should have given him some damn pace. That backtrack. Especially since Bobby Moore's not that tall. He's kind of undersized. At least give him the speed. I want the long hair with Nedved, but I'm happy about an upgrade. He's still not going beyond the debate. Plenty of the debate you could get away with playing throughout a weekend. Just throwing that out there. Nesta, I don't like him. I know there's people in the comments right now swearing by Nesta. My confidence for him to lead the back line isn't there. Michael Owen, not been a standout. That's the reality. Pele, to the top. Uh, currently still the highest rated icon. Let me backtrack on that. Zinedine Zidane just got... A 96 as well. Those are the two. This 90 Petit, I don't think he's going to live on for the time period, if that makes sense. But right now, I would still have him in foot champs. Pires, I'm downgrading. Again, not intimidated. Happy to go up against him. I'm licking my chops defensively when I'm going up against someone using Pires. Rude Hullet, winter wild card edition. Not as good, but still commands so much respect. Has the game caught up to Pirlo is the question. I'm still happy. To put him into foot champs for now. Prince is not a prince. No way. Puskas. And it might be unpopular, but I think I'm going to go rank one. I like the broken category better. And it's my list. It's new Puyol. He's finally rotational. I kind of want to give him some respect and get him into at least the weekend. I'm not mad if you go a little more on the debatable end, but we haven't seen an upgradable Puyol that was in rotations in years. And the guy has played for the badge. We need a player that could replicate that on the virtual end. Raul, still fun to use for yours truly. I have a bias that I love Raul in real life. What a striker. Ribéry has to go up a notch. I'm going to go rank one. I don't know if I'm convinced that he's better than Georgie Best or the, the Cruyffs, the Mia Hams, the Henri's. He might be in that combo. The 88 overall Ribéry, still cool for the weekend. Brand spanking new right card. If you need a holding mid, we'll do that. Raquel May. What a smooth operator. You just know he would have some Spanish pickup lines. I know that he's Argentinian, but he'd be speaking Spanish with those pickup lines. But EA has not done right by Raquel May. Rivaldo should be fantastic. I'm not convinced just yet. So even at a 92, I say for the weekend, when we're analyzing broken or rank one, terrifying attacker, defender, midfielder. And the track record does not say that for Rivaldo. And even with his upgrades, with the weak foot improvements, which we've seen, I'm still not giving him that next level. <laughs> Ronaldinho, what's up? To the top. The man that made many fall in love with the sport. What an icon. What an individual. And he had fun doing it. Some of you might ask me about the 93 overall. I'm going to put him in rank one, but... Maybe he should be in Broken. There is a discrepancy between these two players. I know I put Mia Hamm, both versions, but I believe the 93 Mia Hamm in the game is probably a little more dangerous than the 93 Ronaldinho. Is that a fair statement? Agree or disagree? R9, unquestionable. If we would have seen R9's career without some of the injuries, I don't know that there's a more prolific or natural striker. Both feet, just pure explosion, the sense to go for goal, to create something out of nothing. Some of the dirtiest step overs we've ever seen up front. Wayne Rooney, a lot of stats, a lot of upgrades, a lot to backdoor, a lot to support. Rank one, Ian Rush. No, sir. Uh-uh, not happening. Salwa has been incredible. For me, Salwa goes into broken. Again, I don't know if that's, we're churning or we're stirring, we're chefing, we're cooking, we're in the kitchen, we're making sandwiches. I don't know, but Salwa, 
is terrorizing the mids. Hugo Sanchez, I like him. I still like him. A lot of the Mexicans are keeping him rolling into lineups, and he's doing well. Looks good. Schmeichel, this is a weird choice. Schmeichel, for me, is probably better than Casillas, but I'm having a little bit of a change of heart now. This is what happens with goalkeepers. It's not my fault. Paul Scholes, I want him to be so much better. EA, if you're watching, or anyone on the team, please give us a usable Paul Scholes. In that debate between Scholes, Lampard, Steven Gerrard, I always take Scholes. That's where I lean. The man had that it fact. Paul Scholes was just a head in his head. Schweinsteiger, I'm not using him now. I, I think he's too outdated, respectfully. I mean, Clarence is good enough, but the options are deep. The bag is deep. We'll put him into the debate. This hasn't been his year. Alan Shearer, you're not going to want to play him. Shevchenko, been going up against him. Good price point. If you're looking for a new striker, he will finish everything. Still a little clunky. I don't want you to think that dribbling is going to be squeaky clean it's not that brand new smith oof, not enjoying that she is doing some things she's been torching back lines i'm thinking about rank one for that reason i'm actually going to move the 90 into the debate <sighs> it's tough as i look at that i think to myself maybe the 91 goes up and even the 90 goes into foot champs we're gonna have to trim through some things socrates I've always liked him, but if we're comparing not only Socrates to other icons, but just midfielder, he's kind of an in-betweener. He's got the height and the size and the flair, but he's not super fast to be a traditional striker or out wide. He's not really defensive oriented enough to be a holding mid or a box to box. He's a bit of a floater. Deutschkopf gets overlooked far too often. Give him a chance. Give that man some playing time. Shuker, we're still giving him minutes. You probably shouldn't play him in the weekend league. For that reason, I'll go into the debate. But he's still playing. Hot take incoming. El Nino, Fernando Torres into the debate. I've used him a lot. He doesn't do the business for me that he does against me. So that's my take. Trezeguet. No, sir. But Trezeguet. Uh-huh. I've loved this item. Been super fun for me to use. His dribbling, which I thought I'd never say. Solid. In the mid, he's turning defenders. I still use him now. The game's caught up to him, but... He's done enough off the GP to get him into the weekend league. Van Basten, don't do that to yourself. Van der Sar is the best of the best. If I could choose one goalkeeper, Van der Sar is the guy. Van Nistelrooy, I know he's a goalkeeper, but I'm not impressed. A lot of you use him, so I'll still put him in the debate. The striker version, don't do it. Even RVP, it's not there. There's nothing for me to squeeze. Veron, I'm giving him the same downgrade, even with his upgrade. Vidic, I still like him. He's overlooked, he's underrated, overshadowed. Would you say... He's one of the greatest center backs of all time in the Premier League. Question for the room. Patrick Vieira to the top has to be. It makes me miserable going up against him. I think you could argue the best holding midfielder. One of the best in a box-to-box -box role. One of the best as a center back. I think about team of the year, Virgil van Dijk, and then this Vieira option as number two as a center back, and maybe even team of the year, Ferdinand joining that table talk. They're all having the same dinner. 88 Vieira still gives you a lot. I'm not ready to put him into foot champs. So he's still sticking to that rank one. He's got the track record to match. Ian Wright, I hate the price tag, but this is his best version of all time. I love Ian Wright as a person, as a pundit, as a creator or an influencer, just as a human being. I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to meet him and to share in some commentary together. Shout out to Ian Wright. And finally, an item we can use that was just priced terribly wrong. Xavi for the weekend for sure. Some of you might even push him into rank one. Xavi's one of those nice surprises. Yashin, he's a rank one center back. I didn't ask for it. I didn't make a request. I didn't sign a petition, but here he is. Yashin, the goalkeeper. I'd still prefer Czech and Vandersar, so I guess we'll put Yashin into the goalkeeper foot champs level if anything i i really would rather rank goalkeepers together collectively as opposed to including them with all the other players they just fall into their own category their own thing that's how it is zambrada needs an upgrade last time i used this 86 it was a few weeks ago defensively i was having problems zanetti i'll have him join the debate not my favorite player on record zico another brazilian to broken I still love his 92 and his 91 but if you can go after the 93 happy days happy days Zinedine Zidane how do we want to play this the 92 is is definitely foot champs but I kind of think he should have one more notch up we're gonna go ahead and put him into rank one we'll take the new 96 he can join 
the top heavy party. We're doing some housekeeping. My OCD just kicked in. If you want a list of how these icons sort of rank up based on the promo. Zola and Zola. I'm gonna start with the 87. At this point, I wouldn't use them. Probably not in the debate. Always a good early pickup. However, this 91, whew, too official. The man's fantastic. I'm leaning rank one. From our calculations, that is 119 icons. Let's review. As for the pine, it typically doesn't move. I wouldn't be upset if you had RVP or Zola maybe in a debate. I know there's the Nesta fanboys, which I understand. The debate is hefty. Foot champs even heftier. On record, you see the goalkeepers. I'm not sure how to place them within this ecosystem. Xavi and Smith, I like a lot to maybe go up. Rivaldo, stay in put for yours truly. I think what we're going to do, we're going to take Smith up to foot champs and then upgrade her new item. She's had an amazing year this far. Better play styles, picked up a couple play style premiums, play style pluses. I'm trying to be right in that selection. Desai defensively is still solid. Facilitation could be better. He's got that icon superpower. I, I, I think I've talked my way into Desai still foot champs, but I have to reiterate that his passing and his turning is sluggish. Rank one, foot champs, any interchangeability. I've always had a lot of love for Kaka, you know how I get down. I still think Xavi can make a case. I really like this Xavi item. Let's look at rank one with a little more depth because we got Dino right now. I might do some shaking. I might shake the room a little bit. All right, we're going to give Xavi the bump. We gave Zola that movement. I respect both of those individuals. That might be our last player. Lom staying put. Loudrip staying put. I think I'm actually going to move Zinedine Zidane down. I think I'm going to move Carlos Alberto up. This all makes sense in a moment. We're moving Ronaldinho is going to push into Broken. Smith stays put. I think Ribery is going to join Broken. You're going to see what I'm doing. Stick with me. Cafu Broken. Roberto Carlos Broken. It's talking to me. Let's add a tier. As per usual, we just made a new rule on the fly. I've created a new category, Creme de la Creme, but it just says Creme. Because why not? Zinedine's going up. Dino's going up. R9, Vieira. I think Ruta Holt still has it for me. Rio Ferdinand has to be there. Mia Hamm has to be there. Pele has to be there. Maldini's got to be there. Is it Zico? Is it Georgie Best? This Cruyff doesn't take souls at the same level as those top tiers. I need one more to move. Sao has been a handful in the mids, though. There's no denying that. It's it's these these are the four. We're gonna give the Brazilian Zico the last spot. There you have it. So we've got Creme de la Creme. Just toss that in. I think it gives us a nice level of separation. Broken, rank one, foot champs, debatable, and plenty in the pot. Let me know your thoughts. It's a ridiculous amount of icons. If you can appreciate the effort that we put into the videos, please drop a like. Share it around the community. Make sure to subscribe for more of this goodness. And if you want the gameplay, we have that on the second channel and lots of it. All the tips and tutorials you could ask for. As always, we'll have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.